Hi everybody, so I'm working on the, uh, the part 2 of the assignment for the dictionary. So it's here you can see that we have to create you know, three def uh, functions as required and uh, enter number, uh, take a list from user input. I have already given a previous video that how to create a uh, take the input from user. You can take this video and uh, take this way. So you input from user, and it should give you input as a list. So you can have a better name than this. The other uh, thing that I want to discuss a little bit was that uh, uh, dictionaries. You can uh, find a lot of good tutorials on dictionaries. They will give you more details on it. But uh, that's the basic way you create a dictionary. And uh, here is I have just like name, uh, given name, and then age and in class and uh, I'll print the dictionary I just say print whatever the name of dictionary is I have kept that name dictionary as dictionary but you can give a, have a better name like positive number dictionary from uh, I will say not you will not have like different dictionaries you have only one dictionary but uh, it will have positive numbers negative numbers and all numbers and these can be list and these list will go into a dictionary Anyway, so this is the way to uh, define a dictionary and as you print the dictionary you can also update your dictionary add an item like I'm adding phone into the phone number into a dictionary which I already have that's another way to update dictionary but when you update you are updating adding another dictionary old dictionary into your previous dictionary so you see that uh, I have static pencil and then I have is a uh, uh, curly braces. So curly braces mean that this is a dictionary, and this dictionary has two items only in the name and so on. So instead of like having this right now, I will just run it without. Let's save it, and you'll see that it will create a dictionary. And let's even start uh, doing this without and save. Right. Print my dictionary class name. Uh, and you can see also see that the other thing which is different is the class comes first and then name and then age but in my dictionary I have name first and age second and class second so it's the this order of these items while printing will not be the same it doesn't matter because the dictionary dictionary does not, does not have an order in it so this uh, because the dictionary does not have an order in it when it's printing it will not be the same order if I now you see if and you'll see I run it had previously it had this and you can again see that this order changed from this order the order is not writing but when I added and write now it's a phone it added into the previous dictionary if I And this so right now here I am adding another dictionary into my previous dictionary so update will up add another new dictionary into your dictionary so you see this is adding a new item and this is updating so adding updating with your current dictionary with another so these has been merge the uh, two dictionaries so I've saved it if I run it I have run it right now you see that phone number is still there class is passed so, so I did I will only update the name and age and see this name and age replaced the previous one which was name was Sarah. Here it is uh, John. So I updated it. And so the num things which were common it will update it. But previously which were not common, they were like class or phone numbers still there. So you can so you can use other either of these. So other way I am giving you some hints on the like you can have three functions each function will return the uh, num uh, the average number so positive uh, number will return the only the input uh, the output of uh, average of the positive numbers you have the user input list user input list will have all the numbers these three will uh, return to you the uh, the average. You can add those average into your dictionary. You can also have like if I let's say if I 
don't have uh, this these things in my dictionary initially if I save it and if I run it it still runs initially my dictionary was empty then I added one item into it and then I merge it you see only now this time the class is not here because it was not part of the initial dictionary and name and phone and average or yeah, sorry, a page is still part of it so you can also do that you can I'll suggest that you can create an empty dictionary and once you have the posture number average the posture number you can update it with like something like that I will say so it, it will turn a list and it will say I will say F average positive numbers and I am not putting a number here but what, what you will have is that I'm saying let's say 8.0 but this number this number should come from the function come from the function you cannot uh, directly just add the number here I'm just giving an example but this number should come from the function like the average post number should come back from this function and then you have a number and you can update add it into your dictionary and similarly you will have three more things you form so you can say like I have so this should be like negative and this should be all over average Number. These numbers again, the these will be different, but this can be whatever it is, it, it will come back from the function. It should not be static, uh, like statically written down here, which I'm doing it. You should do this, and if I save it, if I run it, it gives you the average positive number, the next number, but this should be the output, something like that, uh, because here I merged it, so you should not. Then this should not be the uh, this will not be only this will be there so let's apply or something like that you can do that you don't even need to print this here we come out and you can have uh, some something like that uh, you can make a dictionary and then add the dictionary uh, number from the dictionary into your print. I hope this uh, Help you out video. Let me know if you still have any questions. Thanks.